Today we're going to do some embossing on our cabinet card and on a frame using the scoreboard. And this is just another way to use your faux cabinet cards. Hello, and I'm so glad you've stuck with me through this cabinet card series. Today is day five, and if you've just joined in, there are eight in all to collect, and I'm showing you some tips on how to use them along the way. If you're already registered on my website, just pop on over and click on the free tab on the top menu bar. And if you're new here, welcome, and you will need to register to be able to get your cabinet cards. If you want to make the cards from day one to day four, the link is in the description box below. Today, I'm going to use just the front print of my cabinet card. I'm not using the back at all. I want to put this photo in a frame. So I'm going to print it out on 200 GSM at 90%. That's going to make it just this little bit smaller than the intended size. If I put my cabinet card in a frame like this, it's going to make it very chunky. So I don't really need to use the front and the back. If I put it in at full size, I don't fit all of the frame inside the frame. It's thin enough, so I've got rid of the bulk. But if I print it at 90%, you can see that the frame fits in the window now. I'm using a card that has a cutout window frame. I've used stickers and rub-ons to embellish it. And I'm going to show you how I use my scoreboard to do some decorative embossing. I'm not going to show you how to make this photo frame card in today's video, but I will be showing you how to make this in a future video. These cabinet cards are available as a front and a back print. So I'm going to print it out on 200 GSM at 90%. But in today's video, I'm going to show you that you can use the front print on its own. The original card has embossing on it. So I'm going to use my scoreboard to replicate the embossing. So I'm just going to do straight lines around the edge of the photograph like I've marked here. If you want it to be embossed, we need to turn the photograph over. So I'm going to use a pin to mark the corners. So I'm just going to push it through so I can see the hole at the back side. Do that on all four corners. So now when I turn it over onto my scoreboard, I can see where I have to emboss. I'm using a stylus with a small ball on the end. It's just got to fit into the tracks of your scoreboard. I line my pinhole up with a number on the scoreboard and I just score from dot to dot. If you're not in the tracks, this won't work. So make sure you're in the tracks and just stop at the pin line at the bottom and go back up. Do it as many times as you need to get a nice indentation and just move across to the next long line and join those lines up and you get a lovely embossing mark on the front. If you want to do it the other way around, like I'm doing here, just turn your work the right way up and just put a very simple line. You don't need to go overboard because the rest of this image is going to be under the frame here. So before I glue my card together, I'm just going to do the same on my card just so it steps it up a notch. I've just measured out approximately how far I want to come out, turn my work over and just score down that line. So when I turn my card over, it's just given that lovely embossing mark. I do the same as I've done on my photo. I put a pin mark around my window and that's just the same as before so that when I turn it over, I can see where I'm embossing put it on my scoreboard 
and just score from pin dot to pin dot. Always go slow because it's pretty easy to jump off these tracks. It is a subtle mark, but I guess it depends on what colour cardstock you're using, but it does look much better in person. I'm just going to glue my frame closed and pop my photograph in. And this is just another way to use your faux cabinet cards. Just pop that in a pocket or you can glue the back down directly onto a page. I've just put it on a page that matches up with a bit of white on the opposite side. That's it for card five. We'll see you tomorrow where we'll be making this little cutie, Cabinet Card 6. See you tomorrow. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening and midnight. Such a wonderful delight.